one of the universe's oldest planets, orbiting a binary system in a dense star cluster. This ancient world challenges our understanding of cosmic longevity. Ready to uncover the secrets of a planet that's almost as old as the universe itself? Let's lift off. Methuselah is the oldest known planet, almost as old as the universe itself. Methuselah is located in the center of the globular cluster Messier 4, in the direction of the constellation Scorpius. It is possible to observe the cluster with binoculars and amateur telescopes. It is visible very close to Antares, the brightest star in the constellation. Let's get a closer look at Methuselah. Now, each bright point is a star. Just like the sun, each star can have its own planetary system. Our galaxy extends over 100,000 light years and hosts hundreds of billions of stars. A globular cluster is a spherical group of stars orbiting the same center of gravity. The cluster is 7,200 light years from our solar system, meaning light takes 7,200 years to travel that distance. Our fastest spacecraft would take 130 million years to cover such a distance. The cluster was discovered by astronomer Jean-Philippe de Chazeau in the 1740s and catalogued by astronomer Charles Messier. The globular cluster M4 spans 70 light years and hosts approximately 100,000 stars. Many globular clusters are situated in a region called the galactic halo. They are relatively rare, with just over 200 known clusters in the Milky Way. From the M4 cluster, you can get an impressive view of the entire extent of our galaxy. The planet Methuselah is located in the dense central region of the cluster, near a superpopulation of stars. Besides residing in an incredible star cluster, Methuselah orbits a fascinating binary star system, consisting of a dense white dwarf and an exotic pulsar, called PSR A and PSR B.
pulsar is a small neutron star formed after the death of stars with masses between 10 and 30 solar masses. These stars undergo a supernova explosion, leaving behind a dense core. The pulsar has twice the mass of the Sun, compressed into just 12 miles in diameter. It spins on its axis 100 times per second, which is equivalent to 13.7 million miles per hour. The pulsar emits beams of electromagnetic radiation from its magnetic poles. As the pulsar rotates, these beams sweep across space, creating a lighthouse effect that we detect as pulses of radiation. This characteristic pulsation is what gives pulsars their name. The discovery of this pulsar, along with the White Dwarf Companion, was crucial in identifying the planet Methuselah, as the precise timing of the pulsar's signals allowed astronomers to detect the gravitational influence of the planet. A white dwarf is what remains after the death of stars with up to 10 solar masses. Our sun will share a similar fate. When the star ceases nuclear fusion, gravity compresses the star to a size similar to that of Earth, turning it into a white dwarf for hundreds of billions of years. White dwarfs are extremely dense. A single cubic centimeter of white dwarf material would weigh about 1 million tons on Earth. Methuselah is a gas giant with a diameter of about 80,000 miles, a little smaller than Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, and has a mass approximately 2.5 times that of Jupiter. Gas giants are the most commonly found type of planet because their large size makes them easier to detect with instruments. Newer generations of telescopes will likely discover many more of these planets. The night view on Methuselah is at least 100 times brighter than a night on Earth due to the proximity and density of stars in the region. The intense starlight illuminates the planet, creating a stunning and unique celestial display. Methuselah is located 2.1 billion miles from the binary system, 23 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. It completes an orbit around the stars every 100 Earth years. As Methuselah travels in its centennial orbit, it completes a rotation on its own axis every nine hours. The white dwarf and the neutron star orbit each other every six months. They are separated by a distance similar to the distance between Earth and the Sun. Gas giants do not have a solid surface like our planet. Methuselah may experience planet-wide storms similar to the gas giants in our solar system. The turbulent atmosphere and powerful winds could create dynamic and ever-changing weather patterns. Methuselah was likely captured by the dense neutron star after being expelled by the gravity of another planetary system. This capture process is a fascinating aspect of dynamic interactions in dense star clusters. 
The planet is named after the biblical figure Methuselah, known for having lived nearly a thousand years, symbolizing its ancient age. Almost all the stars in the cluster are of the same type and are nearly the same age. The M4 cluster is about 12.7 billion years old, and Methuselah is approximately the same age as the stellar group. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old, making Methuselah almost as ancient as the universe itself. Earth is 4.5 billion years old. The discovery of Methuselah indicates that planets could be abundant in the universe up to 8 billion years before Earth formed. Methuselah's survival is extraordinary. It has endured the explosive deaths of its host stars, including the supernova that created the neutron star and the shedding of outer layers that formed the white dwarf. These violent events would typically obliterate nearby planets, but Methuselah managed to persist, showcasing the resilience of planetary bodies. Methuselah and other millions of planets are as old as planets can be. Perhaps all life is too. Our species, Homo sapiens, has been walking the Earth for 200,000 years. We started living in large civilizations only in the last 10,000 years. There are worlds billions of years older than Earth. There may be technological civilizations millions or billions of years more advanced than ours. If you enjoyed the trip, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more space travel. Leave in the comments which place in the universe you would like to explore in the next videos. And if you want to support our work, check out the pinned comment. Every contribution helps keep our ship moving. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.